Welcome back to Morrison Heights Family Connect. This is the daily podcast of Morrison Heights Baptist Church. While we're on coronavirus lockdown, we're here every weekday to check in with you and let you know how things are going with our church family. I have with us today, none other than our pastor, Dr. Greg Belser. Thank you for being here, Dr. Greg. Glad you're here. Thank you, Tim. Glad to be here. How did Sunday go? Weird. Very weird. Uh, But... um, I felt like it went well. We're uh, pleased with the response of the church to our electronic production. And uh, we're going to try to get better at that and uh, try to increase our reach and uh, talk to more people. But uh, so far, so good. Okay. So I'm sure you get the question, how long is this going to last? Any other questions you get from the church or anything you'd like to share with us? Uh, Well, we do get that question. And the answer to that is I have no idea. The second question. Uh, question I get asked more more often perhaps is, well, how are you doing? How's Susan doing? And the answer is, we're doing well. We don't do weird very well, but we're, we're managing beyond that. Uh, our family's well. So we get a lot of that, you know, how's the church doing and so forth. So uh, I might take this opportunity to say uh, one of the things that we're trying to do, you know, we, we're not allowed to visit the hospitals. We're not allowed to go to nursing homes or taking Uh, extra precautions with people who are homebound and so forth. So uh, there's a lot of things that we give attention to on the pastoral care side of our ministry that are basically eliminated, just not able to do any of that. So we resort to uh, the telephone, uh, some email, so forth. Uh, We're doubling down on that. We're trying to make an effort. We actually have a goal to contact every member of our church in the next 30 days. And uh, that's a lot of members, a lot of phone calls, but we've got elders, staff, and deacons all involved in that effort. And uh, so we, we hope that uh, we can find out uh, how things are going, how people are processing, and look forward to getting back together soon. Good. But if somebody has a need, they don't need to wait till we call no, them. No, call no, no. They need, they, all of our numbers are published. So obviously, the church office number is published and we're open for business Monday to Friday, 8 to 4.30. Uh, there's a lot of concern about how things are going to ramp back up and so forth. The answer to that is we don't know. We'll do the very best we can. Uh, there's no script for this. Uh, there's no uh, training for this. We're doing the very best we know how to do just like everybody else. But so far the church is responding really, really well. Yeah. Staff has done great. The podcast team Got to brag on them a little bit. We had the idea last Monday morning. First episode was posted Tuesday. Uh, By Friday, we were in the app store. Maybe Saturday, we were in the uh, Apple app store. And our Friday uh, video on Facebook got at least 3,500 views, the one with Justin Qualls. So uh, they really got us up and running uh, quickly and did a great job. That's Tom Rowden, Eric and Laura Busby, Dalton Frazier, Paige Atkinson. Good job to that team. Yeah, several of those folks are going to be uh, celebrities before we're through. That's right. I can't promise as good a numbers today because our guest <laughs> today is not Justin Qualls. It's Michael Cole. There you go. Uh, there the you music go. director here at the church. So we're all going right. to welcome well, I'm Michael. I'm going to step off so Michael can step in. All right. Thank thanks you, for being Appreciate here. Appreciate all you're doing. Here's Michael. Hello. Welcome. How's that for an introduction? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Glad to have you here, Michael. Uh, great job yesterday. Music was just powerful. Okay. Uh, I really enjoyed my family sitting at home, yeah. uh, some of us in our pajamas, yes. uh, watching and singing along with the, the music on, the, on Facebook, which we were broadcasting on our TV. Yeah. So uh, y'all did a great job. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you. Thank you for letting me be here. How are things going for you? Uh, they're going well. Obviously, life is very different, but uh, it's, it's going well. Good. What was it like to do uh, to lead worship with nobody here? Very different, uh, you know, because the idea of, of corporate worship is is corporate and yet empty room. Uh, you know, it's it's leading leading music and leading singing. Uh, you know, God God will bless me and encourage me just when I can I can see someone engaging and connecting, and and that was was not there uh, when we recorded that the other day. How's your family doing? They're good. They're good. Have y'all been locked at the house together? Pretty much. Pretty much. The girls have. They're starting online classes 
uh, you know, with ninth grade in college. That's uh, So that includes Michaela. She's Michaela. home with you guys too. Good. She received an email over the weekend that MC is online for the rest of the semester. Okay. So she is geared up, ready to go, as, along with the professors, just figuring it out as they go. But we're, we're good. We're good. I bet you're not complaining about having her home. I am loving it. That's good. We're loving it. That's good. Uh, so what's going on in the music department here at the church that we need to know about? Uh, well, it just obviously everything is very different. A lot of what we do is in person with rehearsals, and then we come to Sunday services, and, and uh, we're not able to do that other than uh, getting some together to record the music for, for Sunday. Uh, so trying to stay connected, it's hard to do, but, but trying to make phone calls, emails, uh, sending out a weekly devotion to some people in the worship ministry. Yeah. I saw a video on Facebook of a high school choir singing together on Zoom, and it was flawless. Yeah. And I thought, there's no way they're using Zoom. Yeah. That's impossible <laughs> to coordinate anything close to that on Zoom. But if you guys accomplish something like that, I'll watch. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, I've, I've been seeing a lot of that this last week. And uh, I know of at least one church that that's what they're going to do for Easter is to have their choir. Technically, it's quite a challenge is what I, I understand. I bet. I, I don't understand all of it. Uh, but it, 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 it's quite a challenge to produce, but I, I do want to check into that. Yeah, I have a hard time having one back and forth conversation with one person, but singing together with a group, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. I think they cheated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else going on that you want us to, to know about regarding music ministry, your family or anything like that? Uh, well, I know just, just, uh, I, I hope, uh, you know, I, I hope, uh, for like the music from this past Sunday, uh, I hope that was a good part of worship. You know, a couple Sundays ago, we were able to worship through the preaching of the word, but we wanted to uh, present uh, what you normally experience in person as best yeah. we can on a Sunday. And so that's, that's what we tried to do. And we're going to continue to do that, wow. uh, doing, doing some of that this week. I thought it was great. You know, we had a good Sunday, had worship, and then children's activities, youth activities. Several of our adult groups met. One of them we mentioned last week, Clinton Emily Andrews. You know Clinton Emily. Uh, they were scheduled to start a new life group Sunday, March 22nd. And so we went on shutdown, and they said, we're starting it anyways. And so I was excited to hear that. Uh, they went ahead and launched their group on Facebook, and uh, they had 27 people come. So that's exciting. Good for them. Um, so we'll, we'll look forward to hearing more updates from them about how their new group is going. I'm encouraged. We had lots of folks meet yesterday on Zoom or on Facebook. Uh, in fact, of the groups I've heard from so far, adult groups, uh, attendance was way up because nobody's traveling. Everybody's home. If your group is broadcasting on Zoom or Facebook, I guess people just say, why not tune in? So, uh, so we had a great Sunday yesterday regarding adult groups. So if your group is not meeting or uh, hasn't yet uh, experimented with Zoom or Facebook, I encourage you to go ahead and experiment with that. Uh, it's even groups that that's way outside their comfort zone. I'm hearing good reports from, so uh, so good job to all of our group leaders for trying. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've covered worship, we've covered adult life groups. The youth yesterday, my son Joseph participated in their Zoom meeting. Uh, so they had a hangout at 1030 and then Bible study at 11. I think that went well. Uh, he was happy about that. Children's programming was good. My, my two younger ones tuned in to Paige's lesson at 1030. Uh, so we're all kind of learning on the fly and adapting as we go. But I think yesterday was a great Sunday. I, I agree. Strong Sunday. Now you brought a devotion for us. You want to share with us what you, I, what you brought from the word? If I can read out of Revelation 7, starting verse 9, it says, After this I looked and behold... A great multitude that no one could number from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Something that struck me yesterday, and I actually shared this with uh, our, our musicians the other day when we recorded the music, is, is even though we were in a, an empty room and then yesterday my family of four were sitting there and, and other families were at home, and yet I believe we were united 
in, in worship, just as the multitudes are before the throne, and there's worship continually going before the throne as they uh, worship the Lamb. And so even though it's a family here and a family there and a family there, that we were united in worship uh, with all believers of all ages of, of, of over the centuries, united in worship. And so uh, if, if you feel kind of alone and, and, and miss corporate worship, yes, it's different right now, but, but I believe we are joining with those before the throne and worshiping all language, all peoples, all tribes. Yeah. Amen. Will you want to lead us in prayer today? Yes, thank okay. you. Lord God, uh, I thank you for our church. Help us to be on mission as our mission looks different today than it did a few weeks ago. Help us to be on mission, loving our neighbors, telling others the gospel and sharing the gospel. May we see people saved. Lord, use us today, whatever our day, however it looks today, use us, please. Help us to love others. Help us to draw close to you. Uh, help us to trust you more and more. I pray for safety. I pray for safety for those in the health field and, and uh, our first responders. Uh, Lord, thank you for them keeping us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. My good friend, outstanding worship pastor, Michael Cole, thank you for being here with us today. So I'm Tim Peabody. This is Morrison Heights Family Connect. As the kids say, like, comment, and share, please. And uh, we love our family. Bless you.